it is. Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack its quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You know what I mean? Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> he wears a zap backwards. He's a bit of a douchebag. You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. I enjoy her. Hey, look, the murder basement. <clears throat> hey, what do you uh, what do you listen to? Good to know. He has a backwards hat like a douchebag, but I have a little bit of sympathy for him because he doesn't seem like he's a douchebag. Yet, at least. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, broken. please. Sorry, bro. <sighs> cool. Thanks, guys. I 100% have to at this point because they're just fucking little douchebags. I would kick their asses. Not really, because I'm not a fighter, but I'd, I'd definitely let him know what's up. Other girl, can you come yell at them? Team fifty three. That's a long time ago. The same coffee mug is still there. He's moved it this entire time. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. You're in the wrong game then, friend. Mr. David Arquette. All these desks and all these files, and nothing I can click on. That's how we block off the staircase, really. This person over there. Talk to the bear first. Bear stuff bear.
Like, clean up. There's fucking paper on the floor. You're leaving a place of mess. Just grabbing your bags. Go back inside now. I didn't know that was the front door, I'm just not paying attention. Is it kitchen? It's a card, okay. Now stick to moderation or to indulge in excess temperance, take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. So I guess we missed one earlier, if they're in order, that is, at least. That's a bad place to get stuck. Hopefully not foreshadowing. But okay. Bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Son. Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? Hottest at camp by far. Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in Bunk 7, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, okay, Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know... Maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, well, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, it doesn't kill you. It'll make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. You're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, 
rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. Why? Would you do either of these things? Don't, don't be a douchebag like this. I, I hate everybody. Oh, this looks important. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d d long. Oh, dick. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. Mm. Surrounded by freaks. Mm. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? I kind of like her. Why, I don't like everybody else. Know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy. She's left her hanging. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Why, why, why can't you just listen to the smart chick and go find a fucking key? Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Abby, come on. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. Emma. Okay, well, well, fine. I'm just going to do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. I'm a bit of a bitch. I'll care if she thinks I'm overreacting. Maybe the crows are like where the carts are.
because that, that the creepy old lady had the crew. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Here. Stuff should be hidden behind shit now. Okay. Of course not. I don't feel like we need to check every cat. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Dylan's? Ugh. It's an empty vial of something. Lots of things. Can't go in there. Can't go drown myself. There's a person. Maybe that's Mr. H or whoever's just looking for. Get open the cabinet and get my bags. No, it's Emma. It's Emma being a bitch. Never mind. Sorry. Ready to roll? Yeah, because I don't want to check every single game, and I'm impatient, so let's go. If you can't remember it, it's not worth remembering. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic. Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. So what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. <gasps> oh, 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 wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tech. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically. If I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you put it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. 
in your neck. Could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Sure. Let's go find let's go find you. Yes. Sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kinda thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> I hate her. My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no. They're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, he's waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why, to keep out bears? Apparently. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you okay if anyone here had a podcast about them it'd be me yeah if there was a podcast called how to look and smell like a butt oh my god you are so childish at least i don't look and smell like a butt no it's a, it's a paranormal podcast Th this episode was actually about this place really enough the hag of hackett's quarry the who of the what's it where now what's the hag of hackett's quarry you don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking, dumbass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. 
I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haggard Haggard's Quarry. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Well, hop to it. Get those butts in gear. Coulda what if our bags weren't locked up? What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about what, ghost stories? The H of H's Q. The Hag of Hackett's quarry. I was just... <sighs> For Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, tah, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> No, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Could be an asshole, but we won't be. I'm sorry, but you're the one trying to make it about ghosts and shit. Right. Speaking of, hey, you ran the report today. Great. Let me know if you heard what the hell you said about ghosts. Even if it's just a little bit, and if she's still in the same. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, this is, you know, whether or not I should, like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? 
Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Your wolves are coming back and you gotta get the fuck out. Brian, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can't. I mean... Shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are gonna like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway can't. It's kind of bad for business. So, maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see them again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, am I right, fellow young packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Hey, what about our bags? Such uh, a big Emma, man. I'm going to have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, no. I am not leaving without... It's the way it's got to be. Come on, Jacob. Start her up. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, dude, Come on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm gonna... Kill us all. Holy Everybody back now, now, now. <clears throat> Jacob, wait, 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 wait. I got this. 
You're a dumbass. God damn it, I said wait! Oh shit! Nah, I missed the quick time event. That's fine. Just pulled the rotary pump. This thing is toast. Rotary arm, whatever it was. But then they probably would have found it on him and they would have known okay. that he did it. Okay. Now he can at least play it off and be like, nah. okay, we'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. We're all dead, he knows. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? Yeah. Uh, said to stay inside that we're not leaving until the morning are you kidding me um are you kidding me what are we supposed to do well we should go inside like he said we could go inside until morning yeah or or we could do something else no no no, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. So we can all die? Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Something wrong with her mouth. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he's just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude, it's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told me to do. <sighs> Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, 
first things first, Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. All idiots. Esse é o Matt Snappers. Maybe that's so you don't get hurt. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Sure. I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks, Christopher. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. The werewolves. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Some fish eyes.